But we can get our ethine or acetylene to burn completely if we mix it with sufficient oxygen. And this is what we're going to show here now. This is the equation that we want to do. We want to burn our ethine completely. So we've got ethine reacting with oxygen. And if we burn it completely in oxygen, we form carbon dioxide and water. Now, this is a little bit more violent, though, if we do this. So uh, we've just put in the bin here a small flask containing the uh, ethine and the oxygen mixed up in just the right ratios. Now, if this works, it might go with a bit of a bang. So I'm going to have to ask you to put your fingers in your ears, just to protect your ears, especially those in the front row. OK, we'll count down from three. OK, are we ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. And that's what's left of our bottle there. OK, so perhaps you'd like to pass that round. Oops. So far then, we've only managed to get our light out of the fuels containing carbon, hydrogen, and maybe a little bit of oxygen only. Okay? Um, well, many other elements are involved in producing light, and, and we're going to look at some of these in the course of the